Okay, Calvin, it's time. <laughs> it's about five and an eighth that way, and about yeah, three and five sixteenths that way. You gotta do it in millimeters, dude. Jeez, really? Yeah. So it is about 130 millimeters that way, and about. 87 millimeters that way. Y'all happy now? I hope y'all happy now. And unfortunately, we did very measured the nug box. So this is a strip box. So it turns out that's the same box. So Calvin was right. I was wrong. Oh well. <laughs> you know what? It's a valid question. Jimmy had to ask it. He had to figure it out. Now let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah. Hey guys, so my friend Calvin's designing a little something that for a friend of his is called a Nugs holder. <laughs> Nugs. N U G Z or something like that. I forget how you spell that. Anyway, uh, the whole idea is it's for holding uh, chicken nuggets or chicken strips from uh, Chick fil A. <laughs> so he's designed it, but he couldn't fit it on his printer, so I'm going to try to fit it on this printer. And I'm going to try this brand new filament I got for AMZ 3D. It's their PETG. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. So I'm going to go ahead and print this up for them, and let's see how it turns out. I'll see you through the time lapse. Hey guys, so it's all finished up. I don't know exactly how long it took. I'm going to try figuring that out here shortly. And I'll put it in the time lapse portion of it. Um, I ended up leaving town for a little bit today, so I went ahead and I threw another firewall up here just to be on the safe side. <laughs> now, the question is how does PETG stick to this print bed? Let me go ahead and turn that off. It lifts right off. That is cool. I was afraid maybe it would stick a little bit harder or something to it. But all in all, it's a little bit stringy. I think I, I had the temperature a little bit too high, but I wanted it to bond really well, and it feels like it did. I've uh, got some older PETG that if I did like that, it would just crumble. So this really turned out pretty nice. So that is Calvin's, I think he's going to call it the Chick-fil-A something or other. I still think that uh, the Nugs holder thing would be the better deal, but <laughs> we'll see what he, what he ends up naming it. I think he's going to print the handles for it, because I believe there's going to be handles for it. If not me, I can get the STL from him and go ahead and print those for him too while I'm at it. But anyway, that's Calvin's. I'll send that off to him. If nothing else, I'll go meet him for lunch somewhere and, and give it to him. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my Tee Public store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.